So you want to win an NCAA championship. Some think it's easy, and on paper, maybe it is. Just win the next six games in a row, and you've reached your goal. But as Dickie B is going to tell you, these are the toughest six games to play. And you'll see that in today's game between the Montana State Fighting Bobcats and the Kansas State Wildcats. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Wildcats should have an easy one tonight, Dick. How do they keep this team from sneaking up on them, though? Hey, here's my keys for them tonight. Number one, don't let the other team dictate the tempo or the pace. Play at your speed, baby. Next, make good decisions offensively and reduce those turnovers. Third, play every defensive possession like it's the last. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. There was no doubt about that one. They work the perimeter. English receives the ball. He shoots from right of the circle. That's good. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Working it around the perimeter. And up. Perfectly executed. Wow, that's worth the price of admission. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, and the real extension. On the outside, Rodgers receives the pass. He drains it. Gave it up. That one there should have been a foul goal, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. He's got to get rid of it. They look to get it to the inside. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Trying to feed inside. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And he scores despite the hand. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way and you spin back the other way. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes his first. Second one is no good. He cleans the glass. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. it in. English handles the pass. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him and he lost possession. Weaver handles the feed. There's a double team waiting there. Looking for the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Trying to go inside. There's a bad pass right to the defender. They're going to call this one a backcourt violation, Dick. You can't make mistakes like that too often, Brad. 
keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Get that sucker out of the game, man. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. And the ball goes out of play. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. For two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Up and inside. Towns is feeling good. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. On the dribble, gives it up. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Here's the offense. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. I'll tell you, turnovers could absolutely destroy a team. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Working around the perimeter. Gave it up. From left of the circle. It sticks. Takes the pass in the paint. Tempo to game. Really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Look at that spacing. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? On the dribble. Gives it up. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Kicks it out. High post flasher is open. From left of the circle. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. That's an eight nothing run. In the paint. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. He takes the shot from the baseline. He hits it. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Shoots from outside. 
Off the rim and no good. He goes to the line for the first time. It goes in. You can't miss free throws, Dick. It's going to kill you somewhere down the line. Well, you got to convert. That's the one thing like football special situations. you got to be able to execute there. He makes a nice shot fake. Moving it around the perimeter. Fronts in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. We have a backcourt violation. Mistakes like that can out up in games like this. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, both teams seem to be playing very conservative. We're still waiting for one of these teams to throw the first punch, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. With a deep shot from outside. Drains the shot. up for two. Kansas State have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. And he'll kick it back outside. The skip pass is picked off. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets the shot to fall. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Jumped in front to take it away. Turnover. Jumps into the defender. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball in the deck. Where's he going? He launches the bomb. Off the mark with that shot. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He puts up the tray. He gets the bucket. Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Number 44 with the fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Great play to take that to the basket. Mm -hmm. 
He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, good close play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing the ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. There they come with a double team to stop it. Robs him of the ball. Looking for a good shot. For two. Perfectly executed. How about this? On the dribble, gives it up. Boy, terrible execution on offense. He shoots from the top of the circle. Way off target. Picked out of the air. Gave it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Trying to draw some contact. Buried it. Picks off the lazy pass with a quarterback pass. Up and in. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. With the fadeaway, he's good for another score. Hands in his face. Any time now, boys? Now they work it around the perimeter. Got an open look if he wants it. They move it into the front court. He intercepts it. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. From right in the circle. He's taking a lot of bad shots out there, Dick. I know, he's trying to catch fire, Brad, but it's just not there. And the ball goes out of bounds. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. If you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Fast break opportunity here. For the bucket, he hits the shot. Dump it inside. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Picks off the pass. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. So forget about it. And then he does a little dribble act here and turns it over. Gave it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. From three-point territory. Drains it.
entry pass in the paint. Double team now, that angle. Nice high post screen. Picked off. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They will line them up. Gets the first. Gets two at the charity strike. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Jumps in. Great play to take that to the basket. Woods is spent right now emotionally, Dick. He needs for something positive to happen, which will light his fire and get him going. Trying to draw the foul. It's stolen. Got the shot if he wants it. From the top of the circle. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Look at that spacing. He shoots from the top of the circle. Nails it from another state. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He throws it up from downtown. He takes the board. Takes away the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Here's the trap. He tries the three ball. Off the rim and no good. Working it around the perimeter. Matt makes a great move to draw the foul. He goes to the line. Gets the first shot. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Jumped in front to take it away. Shot clock is dead. Looking for the foul. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> that's a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. The Wildcats lead by 20. Now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. Kansas 
State showed great presence on the boards in the first half. And you know what really impressed me, Brad? They did it with textbook box out form. They sealed off. We see so many kids that don't box out. Not this team. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. Gave it up. The power forward gets the pass for two. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. On the outside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Time to pick up the defense here now. From three-point land. Dick, they are loving it behind that line. Hey, as long as you're hitting, the loving is good, baby. They strip them in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. They are heating up this building with their shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Gave it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. He better get rid of it. Steals a pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked out of the air. The power forward with the ball. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Now, what you've got in store for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. To the line, shooting one. Good. Sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. <laughs> Intercepted. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Steal. What a great strip. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Picked off. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. off the lazy pass. They work it around the perimeter. He attempts the three. Sinks the shot. Oh, 
He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in the foul. Right, that's what happened when the defense is too aggressive and looking for the steal. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. For the bucket. Got to make that baby have a wide-open angle, have a chance to lay it on the glass for easy goose. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. He launches a three. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestle. Horrible shot selection. On the dribble, gives it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul call there. I tell you, good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. The center takes the feed. And in and out. They still don't score. He'll kick it back outside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He up fakes. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Mack fakes the shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. They'll work it around the arc. And a momentary look from three-point land. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Looking for a good shot. Got him for three. Looks like he was just standing there. Controlling the ball. He shoots from the top of the key. The Fighting Bobcats is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Up and inside. In the paint. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Jumped in front to take it away. He shoots from left of the circle. That's a seven-zip run. He shoots from right of the circle. He's money with a shot. The Bobcats are behind by 19. From right of the circle, it's good. like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. High post flashes for the opportunity. Got some room. English draws the personal. And he's going to pick up the foul and all look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach.
If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Makes the second shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The shooting guard gets the ball. Takes away the pass. The ball goes out of play. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, a sense of urgency down here on the bench. The coaching staff is starting to sense their players are starting to panic, and they want that stopped before any further damage is done. Guys? And the ball goes out of play. Here's a flash from the high post. Ten on the shot clock. On the outside, the small forward takes the pass. Off the mark with a shot. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. The three balls had a better start flying, baby, because this one's almost over. He shoots from the top of the circle. He drains the three. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Leans in. And he scores despite the hack. Picks off the pass. Throws it up, knocks it down. The Bobcats are trailing by 14. Top of the circle. Got it. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you... He gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big play. Number 21 makes his first appearance. I tell you, this youngster can provide a spark, and he decided to floor, Brad. He gets it to go. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. a good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. The Bobcats are down by 16. Adam in the low block, but opted against it. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Gets it back out. Fakes it. Gave it up. Tries for two. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. They work the perimeter. He rejects it. And back they come the other way. Goes up for two. Up and in. This replay is going to be an encore presentation everywhere.
There's the fake. For the deuce. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great ball by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Gives it up. Intercepted. Fast break possibility coming for two. That was nice. They work it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. On the low block, Kansas State have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Here's a double team. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Now they work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. From beyond the arc. Should have basketball help one another communicate way off target ball down low but it's kicked out taken away he gets it up the floor with a quick push looking for contact Shoots from the top of the key. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I'd say doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And he knocks it down. Picks off the pass. With a bucket. With a layup. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. For two. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He gets that one to fall. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He gives him the fake. He shoots from the elbow. He can't get the hoop to fall. the circle they work it around the perimeter pushing that basketball the ball goes out of bounds now look at him celebrating with the cheerleaders of all people hey i think he's missed the first time play some hoop do a little dance he puts it up good
Gave it up. Great defense. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. He blocks the shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. He fires away. We're going to move it around the perimeter. On the outside. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. That was a definite blow to one team's composure. Let's see how or if this will affect the team. He shoots from left of the circle. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. There's a double team waiting there. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Coach looks on. Focus. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Coming inside. Rejected out of there. Ten seconds to put it up. He strips him clean. They're working around the perimeter. He throws up the shot. Rims out. Picked out of the air. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Up and inside. He intercepts it. He shoots from the angle. He buries it. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially. But the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. This packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Number 42 is put back in the game. Hey, this team easily comes apart without him out there, Brad. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. It's a key possession. They must score here, baby. Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. I think she's right about that, Richie. Six points separating these two squads. This is no time to get complacent, Brad. Launches the bomb. Better fall quick. The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. Offensively, this is when it's extremely important to have the right people shooting the basketball at the right time. At 
the line. No rebounding that. Hits the second. They can make it very interesting with a score here. Tries for two. Nope. And the clock stopped with a foul. Nobody likes this part of the game. And the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. He has one and the bonus. No doubt. Sinks it. He puts up the tray. He drains it. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few in your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. Dick, I think the better team won, we can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club, but, you know, you've got to win it, keep on going when you get to that final Monday night game. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Kansas State is off to a strong start with an opening round victory here. Hey, keeping the momentum will be crucial as they have one day off before they head back to the hardwood for their second round game. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.